Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, we are gonna check the techniques I use to create this texture. Okay. Um, we are not gonna reproduce exactly that, but we're gonna use all the techniques so you can do it yourself. Um, cool. So uh, this one, and actually, we can check the other one I have in my portfolio. This one, okay, so uh, both of those I use similar techniques and I use it on, on Blender. I made, I made those on Blender. So why I'm creating this tutorial? tutorial. Actually, uh, Dominic Maral, uh, hopefully I pronounce your name correctly, uh, just contact me through ArtStation and he says, um, Hey man, thank you for the link, like on, on my work, really appreciate it. I have a question about the stone wall texture from the picture. It seems you sculpt it in Blender and then bake it. And yes, he's right. He's actually um, uh, asking me uh, if, uh, if I can help him with that, like he wants to try to do that. Um, and actually, I thought this is a great opportunity to, to make a tutorial, how, how to do that, because actually it's something that I want to show before. Uh, because I actually ask uh, on the Blender Artist forums, I, act, I actually asked for this feature for Blender. Uh, in May 2012. I, I'm not sure if they implemented because I asked here or it was in the past. I don't know. I never had, I never got an, an official answer here. But anyway, I, actually I was asking for a modifier and then they made something different. But it's really cool. And, and it has to do with the sculpting, uh, um, sculpting uh, in, in Blender. So if we go to Blender, um, this tutorial is going to be 2.8 because uh, we're getting close to the beta. So uh, yep, so I'm gonna use that. Um, so I'm gonna create a plane. I'm gonna go to edit mode, scale, and I'm going to subdivide several times. Uh, subdivide again. Something like that. I think the multi resolution still doesn't work in Blender 2.8, so I'm just doing it manually. Maybe another one? That's okay. Um, so now if I go to sculpting, Okay, I can sculpt details, okay. So as you can see by default, the, um, well, let's see if I can place the camera correctly. By default, you have like uh, symmetry activated and that was the problem that I have. Like the, you can make symmetry like X, Y, and Z and when, when you are sculpting, that was great. But I wanted, uh, at that moment, I wanted to do a, uh, something tillable, you know, like something that uh, it repeats uh, so I can create textures uh, in sculpt mode. <clears throat> so they actually fixed that. So do, 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 if I go to symmetry, okay, tilling, they add this option, uh, they, 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 they add this option like many versions ago, like not only in 2.8, like the, this option was already in the 2.79 for sure, to, um, I'm not sure. It was like in around 2013, 2014, I remember. So it was a, a um, few months uh, later after I, I asked it here how to do it. But so uh, yes, the, the question was like, mm, I wanted to do uh, not symmetry, but tilling. So I like, how can I fix that now? To, to fix, cool. Uh, so now uh, tilling, and you have the tile offset, one, one, one. Okay, so it should be, ooh. Let's try four. Okay, you can see that it's repeating. So let's say eight. Okay, yeah, something like that. So this, this is great. Like, And you can till, do tilling on, on X and Y. So if we go to the top view, you can see that I can create tilliable textures um, very easy. And then you just need to bake uh, the area on the center or the area that you want, okay? So this way it's really easy to create uh, sculpting uh, tiliable textures, okay? So, okay, so that was, um, that was how to sculpt uh, using uh, tiles, okay? So sculpting, uh, creating a tile, uh, tile tiling texture. Um, but if, if this is not the only technique I use, like uh, so, um, the other technique I use is like um, how to duplicate objects like in a tillable way as well. So um, what I do here is I change that to vertex just to be sure. So 
So what I do is I duplicate those. Uh, I duplicate those. Is that activated? Okay. Yes. So I duplicate. I create a plane and I duplicate uh, the plane. Okay. Change the faces. Okay. So now I have those faces, and, and actually you can uh, uh, remove doubles. What is the remove doubles? I'm still getting used to Blender 2.8, so these tutorials are good for me too. Uh, okay, uh, well, whatever. Remove, remove doubles. Cool. That's the great thing about Blender. That you, if you don't know something, you just press space and search the tool that you need. Okay, so I have this. Let me push it up a little bit. So I have this grid, okay. Uh, this is the base uh, square, okay, and I have copies of this square, okay. So now let's say I create like a like a brick, okay. Let's create like something that looks like a brick, okay. Maybe make it smaller, okay, and push it up. Whoops, ah, uncheck the magnet. Okay, so here maybe I can go to school node. Uh, then we uh, will need to subdivide it a little bit. And then, and do, do, do subdivide. Something like that, I don't know. So let's make a very fast sculpt here. Ooh. Okay, uh, let's break it a little bit. Make like a brick thing. Oh. I think I uh, checked the symmetry. I don't know why it's all activated by default, but anyway, just break the symmetry a little bit and remove some make a very simple brick something that looks like a brick okay so let's go here go back okay this will be my brick I can smooth shade that okay maybe I will use a modifier probably subdivision yeah okay so do that but yeah for now I will just keep it uh, on zero for the view okay so let's Let's say uh, if I want to see the uh, ba -ba 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 object, uh, view display, wireframe, and I probably need to overlays, overlays wireframe, uh, overlays wireframe. Origin all where I can show the all okay that one okay so this is this is gonna be where the texture repeats okay so I'm gonna place some some bricks like this will be like a broken broken uh, broken wall ground like this is like construction site or something like that so I can just place some of those bricks around. Okay, just duplicate those breaks and yeah, this will be more here for whatever reason. Okay, so and this one we can maybe broke broken broke this one a little bit more. Ah, well, it's okay, just for the demo purpose, that's enough. Uh, okay, so I have this. Actually, I'm gonna push those a little bit up a little bit. Select the bricks. Let's break, push them up a little bit. So what I want to do is uh, select those bricks, okay? Select the ground, Control P, parent. So now everything is parent to this plane. And now here, the, 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 the options. I want to duplicate using faces. Oh, wait, sorry. I have to go to the plane faces, okay? So now it duplicates those bricks, uh, creating a tile effect, okay? So now if I move. If I move that brick, you can see the other bricks uh, 
duplicate uh, uh, are, 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 are copy the transformations are copied to the, the other one so uh, this is happening because it duplicates every single phrase of every single phase of that uh, square have a copy duplication okay uh, of the of the parent objects okay so that's that's one of the techniques that I used for so you can create that uh, debris effect okay so okay so we have that let me copy this Start recording it. okay so sorry guys uh, blender 2.8 is crashing all the time so <laughs> I'm gonna go back to 2.79 and finish that tutorial um, Cool, so I have the same scene that uh, you should be able to do it that it's, it's exactly the same like same technique. So just create a plane, duplicate it, create some bricks or whatever you want to duplicate uh, uh, in a tillable fashion way. Okay, so this is tillable. Um, so to those objects, parent those here. Uh, so I'm gonna create now another mesh that I want to use for uh, sculpting okay so I'm gonna scale it a little bit okay you don't need to go all the way uh, uh, all the way uh, outside I just need to go um, <clears throat> a little bit outside the that what will be the the frame of uh, the, the the main tile okay that will define the main tile so you can see the bricks drip repeats here okay so I'm gonna subdivide this a little bit a little bit more. Okay, so now in, if I go to scope node, okay, I can scope that. Okay, good. Control set, and I want to activate the tiling effect, and the offset will be one. If I say one, this will be offset uh, in one unit. I need to change that to two. Okay, so if I change that to two, that will be exact same size. Okay, so we can check that exactly. Okay, so here here is repeating the effect. Okay, so now I can sculpt some dirt. Okay. It's just gonna be very simple. I'm not gonna make a huge texture now, but just sculpt some dirt. So here on the those bricks are a little bit like cover. Okay, so those ones too. Okay, so it's like something like that. I don't know. It doesn't need to be. Uh, I mean, it's just a to, just to show you guys. Uh, I'm not even going to finish the texture probably. Okay. So something like that. Okay. Uh, so now you can go to smooth shading. If you look from the top, it looks like a brown thing okay we can add some more uh, let's try to add some more let's create a quick quick stones okay. so I'm gonna that'll be some those would be like small details create a like and gonna smooth that yeah that should be enough smooth shading uh, let's create a subdivision surface that should be enough. Uh, so now, if I go to set origin to geometry, and I change that to faces, that should be uh, yeah, no, not that one. that one. It projects the yeah, that projects the thing on the ground. So I just add some more detail. Okay, just place some rocks around. Small rocks. Okay, so this rocks. So what I'm going to do is move that one to another layer, the bricks to another layer, and this scope ground or there to another layer. So I only have the rocks here. So now if I change that to uh, rotation, uh, uh, I change that to individual elements. So now I can randomly rotate the stones okay so you can see it creates random uh, and scale those randomly too so you can see oh be careful so I can create random scale random rotations scale 
scale up a little bit, scale down, rotate a little bit more, maybe scale on y, x, uh, I don't know, something like that. So now if I bring those together, should have, oops, uh, uncheck that now, should have a nice random set of rocks, basics, you, you can create more like, just a, done. Just refine a little bit those elements. Yeah. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. So all those that are outside the. Okay. Those are the that are outside the tile. It's pointless because you cannot see it. So just bring those inside the tile you can check you can uh, place one like in just in the middle like maybe just place this one here okay push that a little bit this is very ugly no this looks real realistic i mean i wanted to do something simple i think i'm gonna finish that at the end okay well whatever so now what i need is uh, what is the this plane this the rocks so I want to select the rocks, the plane, Control P, object. Now this duplicates the rocks too. Okay, so I have a tile. And you can see this one that is just in the center, it duplicates here. So when I bake, it will make a nice uh, tileable texture. Okay, so now I'm just going to create a new plane and I'm going to move it uh, to a layer down there. So if I push the, this plane up here, Okay, uh, let me save that. Uh, tile 2.7 test. Okay, well, I'm saving this and just right here. Save that. So, okay, so if you have this plane and you want to make uh, stuff on that plane, you need to UV unwrap the plane. So, this plane, UV unwrap, square, perfect. And well, actually, uh, there, well, let me show you how to bake stuff and then uh, we can do other stuff with the camera. That is really cool too. So, yeah, we will need a material for that plane. If we want to bake on cycles, that uh, is not the best baker. I mean, if you... Cycles baking, it's not good. It's not good. Um, uh, right now, as it is right now, it's not good. But it's usable, I mean, if you need to use it, you can use it. So let's create a new image. I mean, what I mean is like, if you have a Substance Designer or Marmoset or X Normal, uh, you can bake uh, stuff much better uh, there, like, especially for normals. Anyway, I don't, I don't use Blender for baking because it's just not good. So se check Select to Active, okay. Select everything, select that, then in theory, if I click bake, that should bake. So what you want to do is select the node, create an image texture node. You don't, need, you don't even need to connect everything, anything. Just create the node, select the image that you want to bake. And because it's orange, you can see it's selected. When you bake, this is where it's going to bake. So that image that I created, untitled, is connected here. And when I bake, this will bake on that node, that is, that is, this node is this image, okay. So it's going to take a while. <clears throat> cool, done. So you can see that I have managed to bake the normals, and da, 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 da. if I repeat, it's completely T-level, okay. And yeah, this could be a great base for a nice te ground texture, dirt uh, texture. Cool, so... From here, obviously, you can uh, imagine what to do, like uh, the bake, uh, bake the ambient occlusion, bake uh, other, whatever you want to bake, uh, really. Uh, another technique that you can use is, uh, instead of baking like this, uh, you can create a camera, 
and push it up, set the rotations to zero, so it's looking down. And here, change the resolution to 1024, 1024, 100%. And change the camera options to orthographic, okay? And if we go to orthographic, we have to change that to two, I think. Yeah, when you change that to two, you see it fits perfectly. It's perfectly on the on the tile, okay? Make sure that the camera is up, so nothing is behind the camera. And from here, it's actually really easy to bake stuff like, um, actually, one thing that I use sometimes is just create a markup. <laughs> Look at this, it's like, use the markup. Um, say, you say, uh, only render, sometimes I do that, it's very, it's very cheap, but, that results like sometimes it's just what you need. Uh, and then you go here and open GL render and it renders with the matcap. Uh, use that as a normal. Uh, uh, someone in the comments will say, this is so unprofessional. You're right, but sometimes, man, it's fast and easy. Um, you can even bake up in occlusion. Well, not with the matcap, but well, not, not from here, actually. Uh, but from here, what you can do is change the, the oh, what happened? Old H something ah, okay no da, 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 da. only render ah, sorry check that uh, from here what is really good is to check the mist okay so to create like a depth um, depth map from the camera um, so in the camera you want to activate the mist okay so you can see the mist distance you want to go to render layers activate the mist pass here passes mist then when you do that, you can go to here and miss path, you can change the distance. So here, I want to set the, the, the beginning, the star, a little bit around here and the end, all the way up to here, something like this. So I just get that distance, okay? So now if I render, And uh, that, that actually can be used as map for whatever. Cool. So let's go take a look here. So once we have the uh, bake it normal, okay. Here we can have the uh, render view, use notes. Okay, so we have the notes here. Uh, use factor, okay. So, uh, you need to create a output viewer. Connect that there. Yep. Okay, so this one we can use it for shadow map or something, I mean, occlusion map. Uh, so, if you just create a should be curve, probably. Something like that. It's going to make it big. Okay, something like that. And the blacks you want to push those no, maybe push those up a little bit but you want to push the whites okay so this can be used maybe some occlusion maybe i don't know okay so you can have one ambient occlusion there and the mist path if you use the if you connect the mist to the viewer okay this is what you have why not? You have to invert it, I think, for it to be using as a height map. So, p -p 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 color, invert, and now it's inverted, and we want to create a converter color ramp, so we can adjust that, that level, okay? So, let's push that like this. Okay, something like this, okay? You can see we have this nice high map maybe that's too much but yes yeah, something like that okay so we can have this nice high map uh, we can connect this here and we can have a nice ambient occlusion uh, you can create maps you can go on and on with this like to refine this we have the normal map save all those images and you will have a nice texture uh, create a diffuse map Maybe in Photoshop, maybe you can, you, uh, what I did with the, what I did with this uh, is I 
took that to substance, I think, and then in substance I used those uh, those inputs, and then on top of those I just create the diffuse, adjust the roughness. Um, I created some masks so I can tweak things. Okay, uh, like it's really good to have that the. the uh, depth high map for tweaking stuff, okay, uh, but also like you can create masks for like for example here I created I, I don't remember exactly what I did, but I, I think I created a mask for all these cold stones and then another mask for the dirt, so in substance I can just drop there like any textured effects and things, okay and yeah, that, that was it, that was how I made uh, those textures in Blender. Uh, sorry that I have to change from 2.8 to 2.79, but it's, it was crashing all the time and couldn't continue. But the idea is that, like, uh, if you understand how it works 3D a little bit, that you, sh you shouldn't have a problem to do that. Um, I I want to say that thank you to the developers to create that uh, sculpting feature. I don't I don't even know if they did because I asked here, but uh, anyway, thank you. Uh, it's great to. To, so I wanted to create this tutorial to give back to the community. You know, it's important important to give back to the Blender community. Uh, hopefully, the tutorial is useful for someone, some people. Um, but yeah, that's that's the idea. Uh, thanks for the developers. Thanks for the community. Thanks for watching the video, and see you soon.